All right. Uh, welcome to the greatest day, Utah Beach, for the Grand Tactical Series from MMP. Uh, I'm Ty, and we are going to start running through some of these scenarios. Today, we've got the learning scenario, the battle for Brer Corps Manor. And this is a pretty small scenario, the smallest scenario in the game. There's a lot of scenarios in the game. Just came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've got all my chits punched and clipped and ready to go for some face-to-face -face play. So if you find yourself in the Chicago suburbs, western Chicago suburbs, and you want to play, give me a shout. And I'll probably start doing these scenarios solo, but if I get somebody who wants to jump in for some live play, maybe we can stream them uh, over YouTube and see how that goes. We'd, would love to play uh, live as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to tackle this learning scenario. Uh, it is two turns on June 6th, 1944. We've got uh, German units from Kampfgruppe Kiel in the 709 Infantry Division up against the 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment from the 101st Airborne along with some units from the 4th Infantry Division. Um, it's an interesting little scenario. I've been thinking about it. Uh, there's a lot of kind of things to think about, even for such a small scenario. And there's also a handful of really critical dice rolls that we're going to have to pay attention to. Uh, but why, by way of setup, we've got the artillery park down here at Brer Corps, who are going to be, it's going to be assaulted by the 101st Airborne C and E companies. So we've got Easy Company and C Company here. Um, Colonel Sink and D Company underneath him are immobile. And then we've got a handful of German units here in St. Mare du Mont. Um, there's actually an observation post in here, which would be helpful for indirect fire, but doesn't really help us with uh, this gun here in the town. So we're probably going to mount him up and roll him away. And then up here to the north, we've got uh, units from the 4th Infantry Division. Um, we've got the B Company tank sitting on top of a mine. He's in column. We've got a couple of, a couple of engineer units. Uh, mortar unit, infantry unit, and then the Germans also have a handful of Nakut and weapons nests, which are immobile. So we're not going to pay too much attention to them. Um, from a strategy standpoint, we're going to close in with these two companies, single step companies from the airborne uh, to kind of limit the shooting range of uh, this artillery park and then we'll probably assault and hopefully take him out the b company tank will hopefully get out of that mine and make it to this victory uh, victory hex if not we may even force march the uh, rear guard here at the risk of losing them to make sure that we're not leaving that victory hex open we don't want uh, these Germans to come down and take that victory hex. Um, because as far as victory conditions go, our primary condition for the US is to eliminate the artillery that's here in this park, um, end up with four steps of units in this hex by the end of the, the uh, scenario. And then a tertiary objective is we must have uh, five command points on the fourth infantry division card at the end. Um, so we need to be kind of judicious with those command points. Um, but again, we only need four steps in this hex anyway, so hopefully that'll work out. But um, let's take a look at the mug. Uh, we're going to start off with the 101st Airborne Division chit. Uh, all the other chits are going to go in the mug and get played for each of the two turns. Um, it's 
Let's see, it's 0900 on June 6th, 1944. And I think otherwise we're ready to go. So let's activate the 101st Airborne chit, um, division chit. We're gonna roll for command points first. A three is gonna give us one command point plus our rating of three takes us up to a total of four command points for the 101st. Um, we're gonna start off with Easy Company. Easy Company is going to march into the hedgerow for three. They're gonna force march at a seven or less. And they just made it. And we're gonna end up in that hedgerow. And that's a fire zone, so that is gonna cost us a command point for this division chit. Um, and we'll do something similar with C Company. Two to there, uh, into the village. Force March at a six. Four is a success. And that'll put him here with Easy Company, and that's also gonna come up, cost a command point. And now they'll be in a good assaulting position. Um, this rear guard, this rear guard, I was thinking about moving into that victory hex, but I'm gonna need those command points for the assaults later. So let's just move him to there for now for three movement points. And that'll be the end of the airborne division chit. So let's deactivate and demove and we'll pull the next chit and we've got 4th Infantry Division. So they need to roll for command points. Nine, nine will get me four plus a rating of three. Takes me to net seven plus one that I already have. Takes me to a total of eight, which is about as great as I can hope for. All right, first thing we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get this tank in column out of the mine by testing troop quality versus a five. Two succeeds, so he can go, that's a pretty critical roll. So he can go one half, one. Uh, two to there. And I don't have a terrain effects chart. I think, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, hedgerow for tract is another, th and column is two. So that's not too bad at all. So he'll go there and he'll get out a column. All right, uh, that's pretty critical. That's that force march for easy company and getting out of the mine for B company tank. Those are probably the two most critical roles in the scenario, if you ask me. Oh, and just to, I didn't put the fourth infantry leader with anybody. Uh, he could, he's got a tremendous um, range command range, so I didn't feel the need to put him anywhere. Um, all right, let's do this. We will bring, we need four steps here. So I am gonna bring this engineer in and let's see, this infantry, We'll get in a column for one, whoops, not the engineer. This infantry is gonna get into column for one and one and a half there and hitting the mine, he needs to stop. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna bother moving anybody else or firing because I don't think 
these Germans aren't a threat. I need, I want to keep these command points. And I think the goal now is to get I company down to the victory hex here shortly. So we'll call it there for fourth infantry division. We'll de deactivate, demove, pull the next chit. And that's a 709th. They get command points. Roll to two, that gives them one. They have a rating of four, so that's a net five plus the one that they already have. Takes them to a total of six command points. Oops. Six command points. Um, All right, so since that tank is on the victory hex, we're gonna try to get the infantry unit and the gun down at Brarcore. See if they can help defend down there. Um, but first off, we're gonna spend a command point and the gun is going to attack right here. And had a great roll, but got to do it. Uh, zero yellow against easy company. Five, nothing. All right. Um, we've got, let's see, what's the best way to go? One, two. That's a village. All right. Uh, this German infantry is going to column for one. Two to there. Two and a half. Three and a half. No, one. I'm sorry. Started here. Column for one. Two. Two and a half. Three. And he'll move into the village for four. This makes him spin a command point, cuts a fire zone, and he will get out of column taking a cohesion hit. So now that that hex is nice and reinforced, that's going to be tough for the airborne. Uh, we'll see what happens. And this gun unit is going to mount up and get in a column. All right, uh, looks like that's gonna be it for the 706. We'll deactivate and demove. Next chit is gonna be allied direct. Hmm, all right, we've got two command points. Hmm. 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 Well, I wanted to assault, and I think I still need to. Uh, it's going to be tough, though. They're at... Yep, 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 yep. Um, okay, let's, yep, that's what Airborne's here to do, I guess. So I'm gonna spend two command points and attempt to assault at a stack, as a stack. Uh, I need to do bravery checks for the Airborne, I'm a seven, six. The best defensive rating is a zero, so it keeps me at a seven, six. And the village takes me down to it's a minus one, so a five six. Isn't that great? All right, five four C company. Nope. And then uh, E company at a six. Okay, E company <laughs> going in by himself. Uh, this is gonna be bad news. 
All right, uh, we get some off fire checks. First of all, um, first company checks at a five for opportunity fire. He succeeds against E company. And this window's cut off. There we go. Opportunity fire. It's going to be fire zone to fire zone. That's not too bad. Um, I get, yeah, that's right, because I get the hedgerow. Um, all right, one pink. Ah, nice shot. Cohesion hit. And then the armory, excuse me, the gun gets a check. He's a true quality three for opportunity fire. And he fails. Okay. So now we're on to assault round one. Um, attacker is going to fire. The defenders are going to stand. So... Let's do the infantry first. He's a 3-4. Let's check for his company bonus. He fails, so he's a 3-4. 2-3 with a cohesion hit. 1-2 with easy company's defensive rating. So 1-2, both pinks. Nope, misses. And the gun. He's uh, on the defense, he's got two pink zeros. Zero, zero, misses. All right, not bad. Uh, easy company's gonna fire at the gun. Uh, he's a three, four. Minus one for the cohesion hit, makes him a two, three. And then the village Makes him a 1-2, but the defense of the gun takes him up back up to a 2-3. So 2-3, both pink. 2-3, both are misses. Round two. Uh, same thing, fire and stand. Fire and stand, defender goes first, first company. Company bonus check. Nope. And what was he before? Was he a 1-2? He's a one, two, one pink. Yes, two pink. Yes, uh-oh. One pink, two pink. Ugh. All right, so I rolled two ones. Possible suppression each time. First one, troop quality seven for easy company. He succeeds again. He succeeds. All right, shakes him off. And now the gun's going to fire. Two pink zeros. One and a five. Those are misses. Okay. All right, easy company. Going to fire at the gun again. Three, four, minus cohesion, minus town, plus defense rating. It's a two, three. Two pink, nope, three pink, three pink, that's a hit. And three pink is a suppression. And where are we with the chits? Um, we don't wanna be suppressed, so we're gonna attempt to convert it. And in fact, we'll spend a cohesion uh, command point to do so. We don't want to be suppressed. So we will take a cohesion hit. And that's the end of the assault. I think Easy Company got got lucky on that one. Um, but direct command, let me think here, because maybe we want to do something with all these points. Because we need to get rid of to get rid of these guys. So I am going to spend a command point. <coughs> um, 
<coughs> and our tank going through hedgerow tract is three so he'll go three six because i think we're going to need him in this fight you'll have to bring somebody else up All right. All right, I think that's gonna be it for the Allied Direct. And the last shit of the turn is, of course, German Direct. They've got three command points. And there's really no point in Saving them. Um, hmm. Oh, one one miss when that assault happened. That breaks up the artillery park. Any type of park takes uh, direct fire. It breaks up the park. So let's get that on the map. All right, um, three command points. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? At Hedgerow, that's some pretty tough defensive terrain. Um, let's look at this shot here. What is, what does this look like? This looks like a zero. A zero. Mm. Not good. Not good. It's not really worth a point, I don't think. Uh, I think we're going to have to save them. All right, uh, we're going to drive this truck up in column to here, and he's going to unmount, get out of column, and take a cohesion hit. And that'll cost a command point. And I think we'll call it there for for the um, for the turn. Let's deactivate the move cup. There's no barrages. Um, we'll advance the turn marker to 1100. It's the end of our turn. All chits go in the mug. And the first chit is 101st Airborne. So let's roll for command. This is their, dis, uh, their uh, division chit. So let's roll for company, uh, command points. Three gets them one. Plus a rating of three, nets him out at four. Not a lot. Um, but it is what it is. I think um, That gun is going to cause some problems with the bravery check. Ugh. Oh, no, the tank's adjacent to him, so that's not going to... He's not going to have a fire zone on the airborne units, so that's a reason. That's a relief um, for them. All right, we're going to spend two command points, and airborne's going to try to assault again in a stack. Uh, 
who are seven six for bravery checks and minus one because of the village. So six five. So six for easy company. Yes, five for Charlie Company. No. Easy Company going in again on its own. Opportunity to fire for first company Germans at a five. That's a success. Opportunity fire, fire zone to fire zone, one pink. That's a four, that's a miss. And the artillery can check at a three and he fails. Okay, round one. Easy company is gonna fire. Germans are gonna stand, Germans go first. Pretty much what we did before. I think we're one, two with Germans. Oh, company bonus first, five. He succeeds. So he starts out at a three, four. Company bonus takes him to a five, six. Minus one for his cohesion hit. Net minus two from the uh, allies. Uh, defensive rating makes it back to a three, four. Uh oh, three pink. No, four pink. No. Lucky, lucky for easy company. All right, the gun's going to fire with two pink zeros. One and a six. Those are misses. Easy company's going to fire at the gun. He's a three, four. Minus one for a cohesion hit. Net minus two with defensive rating. Or excuse me, terrain. Back to a minus one with the gun's defensive rating. So he is a net two, three, two pink. No, three pink, three pink. Yes, that is a suppression. And we will try to convert it with a roll. Versus a three, we succeed. Gun now has his second cohesion hit. Round two. Easy company's gonna fire. Germans are gonna fire. Stand, I should say. All right, first company Germans. Company bonus check. That's a success. And last time he was a three, four. So he'll be a three, four again. Three pink. No, four pink, yes, at a zero, that's a cohesion hit against easy company. And the gun is gonna be two pink zeros. No, no. And over to easy company against the gun. Um, he was a two, three before, but now with the second cohesion hit. Uh, he's going to be a one, two, not great. One pink, two pink. He got a zero. Zero pink is a cohesion hit against the gun. Wow, the gun is eliminated. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I should have kept him suppressed, but that's the way it goes. Um, graveyard. Here's that victory condition. And that is the end of the assault. All right, and that's the end of the chit. Um, yeah, end of the chit. Let's demove, deactivate. And seven and ninth division chit. Man points, six gives me three, plus a radiant of four or seven. So I get seven more command points. Takes me up to nine. Well, since that, 
that uh, I guess the leader had to have moved earlier. Yeah, we don't need that contact marker. Leader should have gone with that gun or moved at the end of the turn or something. Um, hmm. So I'm not sure. If, oh, they got a. They've got some work to do. Um. What do we've got? We've got this chit and the German direct chit. Hmm. Well, we got to go for broke here. So this gun is going to mount up, believe it or not. And it's in a fire zone, so he's going to take a command. It's been a command point. He mounts up. And he gets in column. And that's going to trigger opportunity fire from B Company Tank. He's going to check versus a 5. He rolls a 2. He succeeds. Uh, this could be bad news. And opportunity fire, yeah. And that's fire zone to fire zone. Bad news, bad news. Suppression. Uh, we will convert that by spending a command point. We need to keep these units They're running out of chits. Um, and then, hmm. Yeah, this guy's got to do the same thing. He is, he's going to move. He's going to move to this hex. So B Company gets a check. Opportunity fire. At a five, he succeeds. This is fire zone to fire zone. That's a suppression as well. Yikes. And, oh, that would have cost a command. Did I spend a command point? I don't think I spent a command point to do that move. And we will also spend a command point to uh, convert that suppression to a cohesion hit. Now E Company gets a check for opportunity fire at a six. He fails. And Charlie Company gets a check as well at a six. And that's a success, I believe. Yes. Charlie Company, fire zone to fire zone. Possible suppression. Yikes. Uh, rolling against a four. Uh, we'll spend a co command point to automatically pass the possible suppression. All right. And so with that, we actually make it into that hex. Uh, I believe the leader comes with us since we've spent a command point to make that happen. And that was... Three, um, three movement points, and this infantry unit is actually going to force march at a four. We got to get to that victory hex. Six, he fails. He takes a cohesion hit. He's already got two, so he now takes a step loss. Certainly wouldn't be playing this aggressive but in a regular scenario, but um, it is what it is for this scenario. All right. Looks like that's the end of that chit. We'll deactivate and demove. 
and outcomes. Fourth Infantry, Division Chit, Command Points, one gets me zero. I have a rating of three that takes me up to 10. And remember, I wanna have five left at the end of the, uh, the scenario. Division Chit. Uh, so first of all, this two-step engineering unit is going to delete or remove the minefield. As a two-stepper, he does that automatically. Uh, I company who's in column can now go one half, one, two, and I believe it's three, four. Let's see, hedgerow, yeah, three, four. Three, four. And so we got two steps in that hex. And let's just double check their victory conditions. I need four steps of the 8th Infantry Regiment. Oh, the actual regiment, not the division. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do a little work here. Um, And that was a miss on my part. Let's go L company column for one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, force march, Six won't do it, so we'll take a cohesion hit. I'm just trying to avoid the fire zone in this knockout here. Um, but that's going to be two, four steps. Yeah, I think they're going to make that. Um, and while we're at it, let's spend a command point because we can. And our tank will fire. And let's see, direct fire. And he's the bigger threat. So let's check for company bonus. Four white, that was a success. Ooh, just missed. All right, um, that's the end of the chit are all we're going to bother with. You know what? With so many command points, actually, let's do this. Let's spend a command point. This mortar here actually has a pretty nice range of six. Uh, he's got a couple spotters. Now, the way that the hedgerow, hedgerow rules read for Utah, indirect fire like this is OK. Direct fire from range is, is the problem. But uh, anyway, uh, one green. Ooh, zero step loss. He's eliminated. Yeah, I should have done that first. All right. And I'll clear everything up. Um, yeah, since we're at, we've got them, let's do this. Let's bring K Company column for one. One and a half, two, two and a half, three. Why not? All right, that's really it. Okay, deactivate, demove. Two chits left. Ally direct. And we will spend one command point. This unit gets out of column. And then this unit goes one half one. Also get him out of column. That costs a command point. And 
that's pretty much it. So we'll call it there for the direct command. And just for completeness sake, we'll call out the German direct command. They've got three command points. Um, but at this point, the German player concedes. He's not going to be able to do, you know, the. He's not going to be able to bring back the artillery. He's not going to be able to eliminate um, any of the command points. He's probably, if he did anything and tried to get this victory hex, he'd get shot up by the tank or these units. So we'll call it there. So yeah, neat, neat little scenario. Uh, enjoyed it. Um, pretty clever. A lot of different mechanics. So if you're learning this, this system or the series, or getting a refresher because you've been away from it for a while. Hopefully it'll teach you a lot of those mechanics because all of them are there. You've got barrages and artillery and armor and terrain and assaults and just about everything you can think of. Um, you know, one thing that kind of surprised me is having to bring this tank into play. I just assumed that he would get here to this victory hex and would sit there, but once the artillery was reinforced by the Germans here, I was pretty sure that the airborne was gonna need some help. So that was kind of cool. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, again, if you wanna play either live in the Chicago area or sometime online with some live streaming, uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, and if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and We'll get to the next scenario probably in about a week. Enjoy.